Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I am so grateful that we get to spend this time together helping you to magnify your miracles. Today is the fourth of our four-part series on manifestation, on manifesting, and I'm going to be offering to you a beautiful meditation for manifesting. It's going to be a little different than meditations we've done in the past, but still really, really powerful with the goal of helping you to increase your manifesting ability. So before we do all of that, let's just take a deep breath together, breathing in the energy of expansion, breathing out anything you no longer need. Just feeling that beautiful divine presence, making itself known to you, supporting you, loving you, and knowing that whatever it is that you need to hear to help you magnify your miracles is exactly what you're going to be hearing today. We're going to take one more deep breath together in gratitude, and we can begin. All right, my friends, so let's just do a little recap of our four-part manifesting series. We started out in the first of these four talking about the most magnetic vibration is the energy of love. And the more that you can be in the energy and the frequency of divine love, the highest energy that we can experience while we're still in a body, the higher your point of attraction will be the easier it will be for you to be manifesting. So that's what we said in the very first episode a couple of weeks ago. And then in the second episode, what did we say? We said that if you adopt the belief that life loves you, and you kept saying over and over again, life loves me, life loves me, that you would start to see that you're planting beautiful seeds in the garden of your mind, And instead of having to go through every single area and plant a new seed, this one seed is like divine magic. It makes all the beautiful seeds in your life grow so that you can get amazing results. And then what did we talk about last time? I shared a beautiful book with you that is the key to helping you to really skyrocket your manifesting abilities. And it's called Feeling is the Secret. We talked about a special technique that you can do right before you go to bed and how you as a highly sensitive person are at an advantage because feeling is our superpower. And so why not use it to our advantage and help us to start to experience the things we would love to experience. So here we are in part number four, our final part in this series. And I'm going to be sharing a meditation with you. And this is actually coming out of the book called Life Loves You by Louise Hay and Robert Holden. That's the other author, Robert Holden. And I think this is so crucial. So you might be thinking, well, how is this going to help me with manifestation? And I'm going to tell you, because if you can really deeply let go and forgive yourself, and you can allow yourself to believe that life loves you and that you are deeply loved, you, my friend, will be a magnet for all good things. We'll be clearing away any of the static that you have in your energy field. Now, if you want to take advantage of what I think is the easy way 
to really dive deep into the energy of divine love, then I invite you to join my divine love activations that begin on March 12th of 2023. You can go to francisfaden.com forward slash activation, and you'll see the information there. There will even be um, a bonus activation that you can download right away that we did on Valentine's Day that was so powerful. It was a heart healing, heart healing chakra meditation. So powerful. So let's get ourselves ready for today's meditation. And as I said, I'm just going to be reading this out of this beautiful book on page number 107. And I'm going to do this where I'm going to be reading it. It's kind of like a spiritual mind treatment, which we, this is a little bit different than how we do things when we do our meditations. But I'm going to say each one of these slowly, and I'm going to give you a chance to repeat after me. Now, she recommends that you do this meditation sitting in front of a mirror if you can. But even if you can't, I'm going to ask you to place your hands over your heart and take a deep breath. And as best as you can to see yourself through the eyes of love. As you repeat after me, say these statements of truth with an open heart and with as much love as you can. So repeat after me, my friend. I am lovable. And life loves me. I forgive myself for all the times I've been afraid that I'm not lovable. I am lovable. And life loves me. I forgive myself for judging myself and for not believing in my goodness. I am lovable and life loves me. I forgive myself. For feeling unworthy and for believing that I don't deserve love. I am lovable and life loves me. I forgive myself for all the times that I've criticized and attacked myself. I am lovable. And life loves me. I forgive myself for rejecting and giving up on myself. I am lovable and life loves me. I forgive myself for doubting myself and not trusting in me. I am lovable and life loves me. I forgive myself for my mistakes. I am lovable and life loves me. I ask forgiveness so that I can learn. I 
I accept forgiveness so that I can grow. I am lovable. And life loves me. And just let yourself sit in that energy for a little bit. And notice how you feel. Any emotions that may have come up, let them come. Because we are clearing out whatever's getting in the way of you manifesting your deepest heart's desire. And we are going to conclude our beautiful meditation by simply saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. And thank you, my friend, for tuning in once again. I hope that this was a helpful meditation for you, and I encourage you to listen to it over and over again. God bless you, my friend. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.